guys what's up welcome back to my channel as you can see I'm about to get ready for the day um, my brows are already on and my lids are concealed I need to put my hair back because my hair gets in the way um, I think I'm gonna just do like a really simple easy look I am where I don't even know what I'm wearing today I'm just gonna try to go with the flow so for I haven't prepped my skin or anything I do have on like my basic skincare stuff because I did that earlier to do my brows I've already filled them in with my where is it at Morphe uh, brow pencil this is the Morphe Marco brow pencil in the color mocha I really like this it's been doing really well on my face um, they don't like move or anything some brow pencils they're a little too waxy and they start like doing weird stuff but that one has been really good to me so I've been liking that a lot and then um, I did conceal my brows at the bottom at least with my Fenty. I ordered a, I placed an order on Fenty to order I think almost a full face. So we're going to see how that works out when it finally comes in. So for skin prep, I'm going to go in with my Poreless Putty Primer from e.l.f. per usual. I did find my brush for it and I'm just going to go and work that into my areas I do have a few breakouts from traveling I just came back from Cali if you want to hear about my Cali trip make sure you turn tune into my podcast because I'm filming this then I'll be filming the podcast and then I'll be kind of telling you guys what all I did how my trip was and so on and so forth so well, as I said I do have a couple of breakouts one on my chin we'll be covering all that up so I'm not really worried about it okay so after that I'm gonna go in with my elf power grip primer i know they have another one it's the one with niacinamide um <clears throat> i do want to get that one um i have a lot of primers though guys a lot especially from elf i have a lot of primers so i'm not too sure when i'll get it but i'll probably get it especially because elf's products do really good on my skin and yeah i'm gonna do a little bit of the fenty primer um, just a tad bit. That's like really a full pump. And I'm just going to press that here. Okay, so for foundation, I have been liking the three foundations I got from Sephora. I did a little Sephora series. Those three foundations, the Makeup by Mario, um, the NARS, and the Charlotte Tilbury. So I think for today, I might... Well, let me underpaint first. I'm going to go in with my... Um, NARS Creamy Radiant in Praline Medium 3 and I like to apply this first before I apply my contour so it can sit a little bit. I have not been wearing makeup. I wore makeup one day and that's because um, I was taking my picture like my ID picture for the military so I was like I'm gonna look a little cute and I was just thinking about doing that makeup look again that looked really good on my you hear that that's Bali. that looked really good on my um id picture so i'm thinking about just doing that same makeup look it wasn't anything too elaborate but she did do a good job so i'm going to take a little bit of this uh, juvia's place in number 16 and i'm just going to go a little bit under just a little bit I have been liking how my creamy radiant has been looking, so I might end up um, buying a full size of that. And yeah, that's more neutral. This one's more yellow. So that's that. So I'm going to be using my, where is it at? Because I know I packed her. I packed her, but where did I put her? I ordered another one of my Fenty Magic. I'm sorry. I know. I should probably be looking for a different um contour but she just if it ain't broke don't fix it <laughs> she's just she's just it for me so i have not been going heavy on my contour just a little bit to warm up my face i've been really enjoying underpainting and then um of course i'll do like a little on the temples um i did order the bronzer too i'm gonna do a whole haul and makeup look so you guys can see like what it's hidden for because I've never actually done a full face of Fenty. I've done foundation, concealer, setting powder, and contour, but bronzer and 
whatever else I have not done. And I do have lip products from Fenty that I can try out. Um, I've actually tried out before, before I started making my own products, I would do the Fenty lip products. So I'm going to use this to contour my nose as well. So I am debating on if I'm going to just like bring those out. They are a little old. They're a little old because I have not used them in forever because of course I have my own products. And so I'm like, you know, my little hair fell out of my clip. It's okay. Um, but yeah, I haven't used them in forever and I was kind of like debating like, hmm, should I just use them because I already paid for them or just use my own products? Now, I do like, um, I think it's like her Stunna Lip Paints, I believe. I don't remember what they're called. It's been so long. But I did like her lip products before. So um, I did not order any of her like cream lipsticks because, again, I have my own. So, but her liquid lipsticks, I don't have liquid lipsticks as of yet. I'm still like trying to figure out if that's the route I want to go. Um, but if I do, I can always order some of hers and kind of like get acclimated with them all over again. So I'm going to blend out my concealer. Let me get a closer look. Blend out my concealer. And I might end up turning this into like a little voiceover situation. We will see. And I don't bring my um, concealer too far away from where I placed it. Because the point in underpainting is to get the coverage and it's, I mean, it's really just another way to apply your product uh, without having to use too much foundation. So um, I'm going to just blend out this contour just a little bit. And I really just like go back and forth on the line to tease it because it ends up blending out really nicely with my foundation. There go my hand again. So for foundation, I think I'm gonna go in with the NARS. I think I'm gonna go in with the NARS foundation. I still have them in these little pots because out of the three that I tried, I like all three. I don't know which ones are gonna like best suit me and that's a problem. That is a problem. So I'm just going to go in with this one. This is an Aruba M6. And she does oxidize just a little bit on the skin, but nothing that is not like, you know, fixable. I like the coverage on this foundation a lot. See, like she just oxidizes just a little bit versus like how it was when I first put her on. I just take that on the brush and I just like tap over where all the products are. And that's how I blend it in. I'm really just taking a, like four little bristles on the brush, dipping it in and then like wiping a lot of it off on the lid. So you can see how this applies versus like how it sets down a little bit. It's a little bit darker than how it applied. That's what oxidation is. And then I just like to take foundation down my neck just a little bit. And then take a little bit onto my forehead to blend or to leave like a space to blend the foundation, sorry, the concealer and the contour. I do believe that this foundation is just a smidge too dark. Um, maybe when I use it during the summer, it'll be like 
you know, even the summer, I think it'll still be a little too, it might be a little too gray because I'm more golden in the summer. So this won't work for the summer either. But that's the point of me going to get um, samples at Sephora. I want to get samples just so that I can kind of test out the product, wear it, see how it works with all my other products that I have, and <clears throat> determine if this is the product for me or if I need to go a different route. So with this one, I think Aruba might have been a little too dark, but I'm pretty sure they have other colors that, because I used to wear NARS foundation, um, I'm pretty sure they have other colors that would work great. So. Um, my final verdict on that foundation is I like the coverage, I like how it applies, I like how seamless it is with all my other products. I just need the actual color that I'm supposed to have. I don't know what Bali is over there doing. I am going to take a little bit more of this concealer, the NARS one, and just put a little bit right here. To kind of like balance that out so I can blend it really nicely. But the face does look really good. Let me blend my nose out though. Um, I've been looking for a really small precise brush to blend my nose contour out with. Because I don't want to use a big brush to blend it. It's just going to make it go everywhere. And I do like to take, you guys already know, my contour into my eye, into the front of my brow a little bit, and really blend the sides. And I do bring my nose contour in just a little bit more. And then we're just going to take that brush and just tap on over all of it and it'll blend it out seamlessly like so for under the eye and then if you ever feel like there's a harsh line just take your foundation brush or sponge whatever you put your foundation with and just tap over the edges with it and it'll blend and do what it needs to do okay face looks really good I'm gonna end up uh, setting my face with what I've been really 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 liking which is the one size beauty she she's been doing it okay I've been using a powder puff I got this from Amazon um, and I don't know like it just makes my makeup look so good so seamless so like smooth and pretty so now I'm gonna go in with my Sephora micro smooth and I'm gonna use I like to use like a fluffy brush like this is my real techniques 400 brush I like to use this to set down my face and I just push the product in of course I don't take it like under my eyes because this is darker and if I take it under my eyes it's just gonna darken up my concealer which kind of defeats the purpose of concealer so and like it just brings the face together Bali Bali girl move okay so faces like done faces sitting the way I did my makeup for um my ID picture I did this base and honestly guys I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I literally just used bronzer in my crease. 
because I had a whole like I brought makeup with me palettes I didn't know what we were doing while we were in LA so I kind of want to be prepared just in case we went out we did something like you know um but honestly the exhaustion set in I had not slept really the whole time I was out there I think maybe two days I slept um which hands down great sleep now the problem is my body is on a because my break was only a week and I tomorrow I go back to school and she kind of goes back to school and stuff my whole everything was just on autopilot my whole everything was on autopilot so I kept waking up I couldn't like really get my sleep in I would go to bed at midnight one o'clock in the morning and wake up at 5 30 6 o'clock in the morning Colorado time now if you guys do not know Cali is an hour behind Colorado so I was waking up at the butt crack of dawn by the time I went back to sleep look how pretty that is just really pretty by the time I went back to sleep I promise you I was on the way my mom's room is set up because she had um my mom my mom and stepdad had us take their room while we were there and they slept in their guest bedroom because it was three of us of me chandler and clifford so the way that their room is set up there's a window on this side and if you're sleeping on like my mom's side of the bed the sun like hits you right in the face at a certain time because the sun rises on that side baby i'm gonna take some setting powder and just set the inner portion of my lid right here because it's a little a little shiny I just want to set that down I'm not gonna put any makeup on my lid right there I'm just gonna set it down but yeah so the way that her room is set up the Sun just hits you slap dab in the middle of your freaking forehead and I sleep super light, so whenever there's like too much light or too much noise, I'm gonna be up. I will go to sleep, like after I woke up and did all that, I will go to sleep maybe like 10, 15, 20 minutes later. And then, not even an hour later, the sun will hit me in the face. So I was up. I was up. But that was probably like the most sleep I got <clears throat> on the trip. Which was fine. I mean, I wasn't like really going out there looking to sleep like that because I already know how we do. Whenever we get out there, we just be doing way too much. And because we got to fit in a lot of family within a certain amount of time. And it's just, it's not feasible. Um, contour, no, uh, bronzer, smaller brush under the eye. And even then, we still didn't even get to fit in all of the family that we wanted to see. So now for my inner corner, I did go in with, um, I just wanted to like look awake, look alive. Cause you know, them little ID pictures, you'd be looking real slumped. I ain't got time for that. So I wanted to look a little alive in my ID picture. And so I did take my, um, oh my gosh, she was broke before, but she is broke now. What? Ugh, heart. I'm gonna take a little detailing brush um, and I'm gonna go in with, if I can flip this so it doesn't fall out, with Kitty Cat, which is this shade right here. And I'm just gonna pop her right in there. And she really just broke, like brightened up my face, brightened up my eyes, and make me look awake on my pictures. So I really like that. And then while this is open, I might as well do my highlight. So I'm going to also take Kitty Cat. Now I usually do Kitty Cat and a little bit of Glow Getter together. And do my highlight. Because I did have highlight on in my picture. But um, overall, it was a fun trip. It was what was expected. And we got a lot of stuff accomplished that we needed to accomplish. So that was that. Um, I'm going to set my face down really quick before I do blush. This is the Morphe Jumbo Continuous Setting Mist. Now I will tell you, I do like that setting spray, 
However, I feel like it doesn't melt my face the way that my e.l.f. one did. My e.l.f. one really had my face like on lock. I feel like this one, uh, my e.l.f. stay all night microfine settingness. So I'm going to wear some more of that. I feel like this one is cool. It gets the job done. But I don't feel like it's giving me like that. It's not giving me that thing that I want it to give me. If that makes sense. So I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Um blush in brick red i don't know what kind of blush this is i just know she's cute and i like a deeper blush um i think i you know what i love a like a chocolate girl or even darker than chocolate girl with a bright pink blush i think it just looks so good it's just like mm, you know that feeling when you have some chocolate because you've been on a diet for a while and you finally hit your goal and you have some chocolate you be like oh. like it tickles your fancy that's what i feel like bright pink blush looks like like blush that's like this color on a chocolate girl looks so good and then if you ever feel like your face is a little like lackluster or I'm dropping everything today um, I always go over my blush to kind of like blend everything in with my brush that I did my micro smooth with. And it just like really takes my makeup to the next level. So I'm going to do some mascara. And actually, let me set my face again. Set that face down, child. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my mascara. Um, I've really still been liking the YSL Lash Clash. I might as well just go on. Oh, my hair is wet. You know what? It don't be feeling like I'm spraying that much, but my hair is wet, child. Um, I really like how this mascara does. Now, I think I need to just go on and bite the bullet and buy the bigger size, or I can get another small one. I mean, honestly, I don't wear mascara that often. The only time I wear mascara is when I'm filming. The only time I wear mascara is when I'm filming because I feel like it just completes my eye look. So boom. Um, I'm still using the, if I can find it, Benefit Fluff Up My Brow. Only in the front though. Um, I don't feel like it's necessary throughout my whole brow. I just like it in the front of my brow to really get those brow hairs standing straight up. Um, these are um, Kami Top Lash. My makeup is done. I'm not doing my hair because, child. It's kind of done, it's kind of not, but on camera, it looks it looks decent on camera. So I'm not really pressed about it because I feel like as long as it looks good on camera, I don't really care. <laughs> so I'm going to go put my outfit on, come back and close up this video, film this podcast, and then, oh, I didn't do my lips. What the heck? Okay, because I have lip gloss on. So for my lips, I need to take this lip gloss off. Mm, I know my face looked a little flat. So I always do my um, Christian lip liner. That's my go-to. Blender like so. And then I used Brie. And boom. Okay, so makeup is done. Let me hop off camera, get dressed, come back, close out this video, and then I'll tell you guys all about my trip to LA and my next. But this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, something simple, something easy. This was the makeup that I used for my ID picture. And then my hair was just side parted. Um, this side, a deep side part with curls. That was it. Um, but lately I've really been liking the like middle part with just the flip out. So that's what we did today. And then my top is a faux turtleneck with the like sleeves and stuff. And then a strapless shirt. 
and I just have on some black jeans. Nothing too crazy, but that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell a friend to do the same as well, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.